Ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in between, hello and welcome back to Mech Five Mercenaries. I'm Computer, and over the weekend, Merc Tech got a new update, which has given us, uh, from what I can tell so far, we've got icons on weapons, whether they're from Inner Sphere, like this one, or from the clans, like this one. I'm sure there's way more changes that have been made. I also think. Last time I looked at you, you had 100% ammo. And now you have 45%. I think that may have been another change. But I can't check now because we are way past nowhere on the map. And uh, we're gonna keep going. But after I talk to Rihanna, I'm gonna go back to civilization and repair and rearm and... Finally, hopefully, find that annihilator that has been eluding me all this time. Also, I mean, it would be nice to have a Marauder 2 as well. If, while I'm dreaming, why not dream big, you know? So, with all of that said and done, let's go see what Rihanna has for us. Hello. Hey, Commander. Hi. I've learned that Spears' people were able to recover some additional data from the Comstar Research Facility. I'll let Spears explain the details himself. Okay, go ahead, Sebastian. Commander, nice work saving that main research building. It's been invaluable in our efforts to better understand some of Comstar's actions. I'm sure Rihanna has filled you in on what we initially discovered. Yeah, Comstar was using radio telescopes to help map the lost section of the star map then using that data to aid in their search for more lost Star League facilities. Broadly speaking, that's it. Digging a little deeper into the remaining data, my people were able to find something quite curious. We found an additional map overlay Comstar were using in conjunction with the ancient star map. It shows that they've been tracking the movement of people and ships through this section of space. More specifically, people and ships headed into the inner sphere from somewhere out there in uncharted space. What ships? What people? What does this have to do with my father and the coordinates he had in his possession? I wish I had an answer for you, Commander. The truth is, it's a deepening mystery, but one I intend to solve with your help. What I'm positive of is that Comstar is on the verge of discovering something major, something they're worried we might find first. That star map is the equivalent of a treasure map. Except it's missing one crucial piece, and I think we have that missing piece. Not all of it, but the part that matters the most. The X that marks the spot. You mean one of the coordinates we have in our possession? Precisely. But we still haven't decrypted the second set of coordinates, never mind the third. Not yet. But my people are working with Rihanna. It's only a matter of time. Except that Comstar isn't waiting around for us. No, they're not. Which is why I think we should give them a swift kick in the shins. Slow them down a bit. And buy me some time to get the second set of coordinates unlocked. Spears has identified a Comstar communications hub that we can attack and disable. Doing that should hamper their ability to communicate in this region of the periphery. It'll not only slow down their search, but force them to divert resources to rebuild and protect against future attacks. I like the sound of that. By the time you get us where we need to go, I should have the mission briefing ready. All right then, let's do this. Good luck, Commander. Thank you. Yeah, that all sounds really good. We have a transmission. I'm not going to take it yet because I need to go back to civilization. So that's going to be a jump cut, isn't it? Still no luck on the Annihilator. Or the Marauder 2, but um, the Marauder 2 is supposed to be a lot more rare, so it's less surprising about that. But the uh, the Annihilator, it feels like a statistical wonder at this point. Or at least an anomaly, I guess we could call it. I haven't seen a single one in the entire playthrough, and I'm at 3067, which is... What, um... 40... no? 51 years past the beginning of the game? I think you start in 3015. I digress. Although... Wait, wasn't there... I'm trying to remember now, sorry. 
yeah, this is going back a bit, but before I even started playing Mech 5 on the channel, people were... there were... Com there, there was a complaint, I should say. Um, I think it might have been on Reddit, where someone said that the market and... including the mech market and what items you can find on the market and what hero mechs you will find, etc. is basically seeded when you start a new game. And one of the complaints people have was basically saying, wait, so I can start a game, new game, and there's a chance that I could play for a uh, hundred or two hundred hours and never see mech X. And I don't know whatever happened to that. I don't know if it was actually even true. But yeah, there are a lot of mechs that I simply haven't seen. I haven't seen the Bumblebee, for instance, which is the uh, catapult, hero catapult with, uh, hold on, let's see, is that a cache? I believe, no, so that's database. Catapult. Yeah, here. I believe, yeah, we have the Jester, but not the Bumblebee. Which which has LRMs in the um, the arms instead of, like, large lasers, like the hideous Jester. But, um, yeah, it is possible that I simply will never see an Annihilator in this playthrough, which would be sad. But, oh well. Um, we have a transmission, though. We have a new mission, and it's called Blackout. Here we go, Commander. Time to hit Comstar where it hurts. I'm going to drop you in a safe distance from the target. From there, it's all on you. I expect our friends, that should be in quotations, uh, will have a substantial contingent of security forces to protect the site. They know how valuable it is. Your job is to fend them off and reduce the facility to rubble. Once you've done that, I'll come in and extract you. Should be a walk in the park, right? Or a frantic... Uh, run from death. Yes. Good luck. Thank you. And we get... Four and a half million sea bills, that's nice. Reputation, that's less nice. An AC 20, I believe. And an LRM 5. And a tier 1 LRM 5. Now you're just insulting me, what the hell? And in Tronal, this is two tons, so it's a medium pulse laser. I think. Yeah, probably. And an Artemis 4 FCS, fire control system. In an attempt to enhance the accuracy and lethality of standard missile racks, the first Star League developed the Artemis 4 fire control system. Mounted in a dome near the enhanced launcher, the Artemis was in essence an infrared laser designator, target lock mechanism and tight beam microwave transmitter that, together with specialized missile, missile control systems, helped focus the spread of all missile helped focus the spread. I would say decrease the spread, but fine. Uh, all missile was, that's an, that's an equipment now? I'm, I'm, let's accept it and double check what this is. We are in uncharted space, so there's nothing to technically buy here, apparently. But uh, all, and we're gonna go down. All right, yes, um, there are also a new a couple of new things, like for instance, endo, um, endo seal structure composite, which is the clan version, except it should have a clan icon, takes up uh, seven additional critical slots and weighs 75% as much as standard type. So it's 25% lighter. Wait, no, uh, clan, clan version is 50%, I think. I could be wrong though, but PPC capacitor, uh, capacitor, sorry. The advent of a newer PPC type spark of newer PPC types, sorry, sparked a renewed interest in the experimental PPC capacitor technology being developed by various intersphere researchers in the 3050s and 3060s. When enabled, the pilot must charge the PPC to fire, and the PPC will generate heat during this time. I'm hoping it also increases the damage the PPC does, but uh, Artemis, where are you? Artemis, four, and we do have a five as well, that I apparently have picked up on the market sometime. But four, this is an 
equipment now. But um, let's go with our one twenty. Oh right, yeah. Nope, never mind. With Artemis uh, four, long range missile system that fires stream of twenty guided missile with improved spread. Does the equipment then enhance it further, or will it simply not? Will this simply not work without the equipment? I haven't a clue. But um, either way, we have a mission. Uh, where are we? We are. Oh, we actually have to move. Which means I could have taken it and gone. Never mind. I was worried it would, uh, like, taking the mission would mean that I couldn't move, but apparently that is still not the case. Never mind. And blackout. We've identified a Comstar communications hub for you to attack and destroy. Out here on the edge of nothing, this is a key tactical resource that is helping to drive Comstar's operations. Taking it out will force them to divert resources in order to rebuild and protect the site from further attacks. More importantly, it will slow them down for a while at least. Forest in summer, good visibility at night, so not good visibility, but fine. Campaign, probably demolition maybe? Yeah, probably demolition. 90 difficulty and 400 tonnage limit, which is nice. I'm gonna go with 80, yeah, 800,000, yeah. Um, salvage should go... yeah. Let's pelt them with a few bombs. You never know, you never know. And except... Let's not use you. I'm, I'm gonna take the K with me and the RS will become... Yeah, UAC-5s. Or shotguns. Or... Um, SRM Artemis full ton. Which is not being utilized, even though the SRM-6 does have Artemis. Maybe that's... No, no, I can't, I can't look at it. Probably this is not going to work then. So let's go with LRMs for long range and shotguns for short range and hope everything turns out well. It is a little bit unfortunate that you have 12 in energy weapons and no energy weapons. Actually, yeah, that is very unfortunate. So let's allow you to use your ER large laser. Yeah, and the UAC-5s and LRM-10s. I'm surprised you don't have more. Anyway, uh, under tonnage, fine. Blackout, and it is a demolition. Good. I still have some concerns. This is the same mech I piloted last mission. But that'll have to be fine. I do try to switch it up every mission, but uh, sometimes you just gotta go with the classics. Oh, right. Yes, almost forgot. I replaced Korn's Sounds of the Succession Wars with MW5 Realism Audio Project because I read that it fixes some of the missing audio for um, UAC-10s, for instance, and also... Thank you. Thank you, that's far away. Thank you. But yeah. That sounds a little bit tinny, honestly. But... Oh well. Are you gonna let everyone know that we're here? Good job, Stalker. That looks really awesome. Especially with that as a backdrop. I am impressed. Also, there we go. 
But yeah, it, there are a few things I don't like about this mod in particular. That is that the sound of just you walking around completely drones, uh, drowns out the awesome music, which is Warrior 2, which is something I just simply adore. But yeah, this sounds a little bit teeny, possibly, but I will make do. So does the cockpit mod work still? Yes, it seems we do have some... Um... Oh, hello. All right, sure, um, stalker. Go stand there. Oh, hello, that's a lot of you. Um, everyone, uh, everyone stand here. What I deal with... Wow, it's a lot of armor. jams, it just slows down the rate of fire. Oh. Wow, this is like being nibbled to death by cats. So many small targets. Good. Oh boy. I don't remember this being uh, part of the mission when I played through the campaign the first time. I'm gonna stress the pronunciation of pain in campaign. Just there, but that was... Yeah, that, that was an ambush, I feel. Also, no mechs, though. I'm gonna slow down a little bit for the benefit of my friends. Just... wow. I do know that missions that have that kind of ambush in them, they do show up in uh, Coyote's uh, mission mod or mission pack. But I've never heard them showing up in the campaign. You really? Oh, there we are. I am going to just go ahead and do something like this. Thank you. And Stalker stand here with the King Crab. That's fine. Think I can hit it? I can hit it. Can I hit it with that now? Also, the sound of the just the thing ricocheting like that against your cockpit and elsewhere also sounds really cool. I'm just off here doing my own thing, which probably isn't helping my friends much, but these could bite us in our ankles later, I guess. Um, Moving on your target. You focus on that guy while I focus on this. Seeing if I can even hit it. There we go. Thank 
Thank you. We have an assault on the board as well. There is a repair depot, though, that I could use if I wanted to. I don't feel like I need it just yet. Well, at least not me, but maybe the K and the Stalker could use some help in that regard. Good. Uh, let's focus on that. Another cicada. I should not be waiting in to this. I should also not stand still in the face of them like that. I'm gonna let my friends pelt them from a distance. Hello, awesome. Bye, awesome. And now you focus on that guy. I focus on this Jagger mech that just lost his arm and everything else. Thank you. Oh, hello. You are a little bit too close. For your own good, apparently, more than anything else. LRMs against a turret. Are you... I don't know what you're talking about, to be honest. Oh, that sounds awesome. Uh, I feel like maybe I'm a little bit... Not out of my depth or anything, but... I feel like I'm being attacked from all sides, and that's never a good idea. Also never a good uh, idea to have someone trying to do a death from above. That's your arms. Sally, mm, that's everything. There, you have- no, you still have weapons. Sorry, had. I keep forgetting. Wow, that sounded like something broke. Nothing did. Again, yes, I mean, I did aim it. Oh, there you are. I am going to go repair. Oh boy. 18%. Uh, don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot, don't destroy that. Because then this repair bay doesn't work anymore. Thank you. the flyer I will actually oh <sighs> I thought they had reinforcements and it was an atlas right in front of me also I do have someone behind me Wait, 
It repaired everyone? Did they do that now? That's not gonna work. Good! We have our friends in the dropship that will help us with some PPCs and long-range lasers. Or, no, just large lasers, maybe. There. They do work on flyers. Very nice. The stalker trying to use long range. Oh, wow. Weapons against uh, something that is less than 10 meters away. Still kind of not a good idea. I guess I could try adding medium range missiles to it. There's better be a lot of salvage that I can't pick, never mind. Feel like we're done and everyone is in relatively good health as well Welcome home. thank you thank you how would I do that differently now I would change it so I don't shoot all six medium pulse lasers at the same time and just shoot three Honestly, what I would like is to have tie them three and then three, but tie them both to the same button. But you shoot three and then the next time you click the button, you shoot the, the other three. But uh, that's not something this game will let you do, I don't think. Maybe there's, a, maybe there's a way to mod that in. Don't know. Um, some money, some rotation, all good. And... Yeah, I mean, we can take some of that. Yeah, and then SRM2 guided. And against Comstar. Yeah, they hate us now. Eight battle mechs, 22 vehicles. Um, well, let's just 38, 15, 8. Not great. King Grab. Almost exactly 400,000, though. I do like that. And everyone is fatigued, no one is bruised, no one is damaged, uh, hurt, rather. That's, yeah. Vehicles 10, battle mech 6, that's great. You didn't shoot a sing destroy a single battle mech, though. Then again, you do have only UAC 5s, I think. And a large laser and LRM 10s, I think. So, yeah, that makes sense. That looked like entirely too... No, too much fun, Commander. But hey, if you can't enjoy your work, why do it, right? On a more serious note, now that Comstar's forward comms have been disabled, they'll have to divert valuable resources to rebuilding and protecting the site. Not to mention their Explorer Corps will be operating in the dark for a while. That should slow them down plenty. Nice work. Um... No, it was a little bit fun. Hectic, yeah. But also, like, just the, the fact that the entire city had a raid alarm. That, that, that was cool. A little bit late compared to when we started bombing them, but, I mean, baby steps. And we have our job reward for killing four demolishers, which is uh, 1.8 million. That's nice. We also have a medium chemical laser, tier 5, nice, and some ammo for it. Some reputation and some reputation. And some reputation. Um, yeah. The Rack 5s, they're really great against some tanks, and not really, well, no. 
The problem with the Rack 5 on this mech in particular is that it's in the torso, so you can't aim it all the way up. Which is unfortunate when you want to destroy flyers, for instance. Also, wow. That entire mission only took 10% of my ammo for that one. I can decrease the amount of ammo, is what I learned from that. Also, 404, days not found. And yeah, UAC 5s. Maybe they're not big enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Against a few mechs here and there, maybe it's a good mech, but against that many, it doesn't have the firepower to shoot big mechs, and it doesn't have the torso twist to deal with things that are fast or up close. So, yeah, I might want to go bigger with this guy. AC-20s again, for instance. But, yeah, I can play around with this guy a little bit, I think. Remove, I don't know, three tons of ammo? <laughs> I mean, 90%. I can remove 80% of the ammo and replace it with, uh, I don't know what, really. It does have two spots for lasers here as well. I could use that. But, yeah, interesting. I don't remember that mission being that hectic, honestly. So I think they've gone back over the last two DLCs and augmented some of the missions. Same thing happened last mission also, because when I played through that mission the first time, you had to defend all five buildings at the same time, whereas this time you had to defend four of the outlying buildings first, and then the headquarters. Which I prefer. It made it a lot more tolerable because it was a dastardly hard mission the last time. Then again, to compensate, this mission got a lot harder, I feel. And yeah, cards on the table. Again, I... Uh, I failed that mission, this mission rather, um, about five times. In the first attempt at doing the mission, I got headshot in the first encounter with the flyers and only tanks. And it took less than, I think, 10 seconds before it happened as well. So I'm going to leave a, yeah, that's, mm, ouch. But with all of that said and done, ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in-betweens, I've been Computer, this has been Mech5 Mercenaries, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.